I haven't covered this feature in DaVinci Resolve's Fusion page yet because I hadn't found a really good use case or a funny use case for it until today. Yep, it's that. I'm gonna show you how to use the Surface Tracker in DaVinci Resolve's Fusion page. So welcome back to Creator Reality, my friend. I'm John and I'm gonna be your Fusion tour guide today. We're gonna to jump in and I'm gonna show you just how quick and easy it is to use the Surface Tracker. And it is highly clip dependent and may take some tinkering, but once you watch this video, you will have all the basics down and some of the intermediate stuff so that you can do this at home and in my case, it created a funny effect. Hopefully you enjoy. Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what we're working with. Here we are in the timeline and I've got a clip of me riding my motorcycle, just like the intro, but with no face on it. So we're gonna start by going to the start of our clip. We're gonna select it, right click, say new fusion clip, right click, and then we're gonna open in fusion page. Then I'm gonna scroll up to make some room and we're gonna need a surface tracker. So we're gonna do shift space bar and we're gonna type in surface tracker. There it is. Now that we've added the surface tracker, we need to track something. So I'm gonna control mouse wheel to zoom in. My face is what I wanna track. And I'm just gonna draw by clicking on the edges of my face where I want resolve to track. And it's going to do that. So once we have that done, if you have some dots that are out of place, you can hover over them, they turn red, and you can drag them to where you need them to be. There we go, that looks pretty good. It's gonna track everything inside of here once we come over to mesh, and there it is, it's generated a mesh, and we're gonna drag up our point number limit and drag down the minimum point spacing. There's bounds and track and result. We're gonna go through track, but the rest of it's kind of fine tuning. You can tinker with it to get better results depending on the clip. But now we have a lot of points and what Resolve is gonna do is Resolve is going to track all these points inside this mesh so that when you attach an image to it or a video, it can str uh, shrink and grow and talk and whatever and follow the mesh points. Now that we have our mesh, we'll come over to track and you can track forward and reverse and all that stuff, but we're just gonna click the middle one, track forward, then reverse. And this process is going to be dependent upon the speed of your computer. Mine's gonna take quite a while to do it. All right, now that it's done tracking, it dropped us back off at the first frame where we started and we can scrub through and see how well Resolve did in tracking my face through this clip. And it did okay. I think it's good enough for this tutorial. Are you learning anything? Boop the like button. Now, we need something to track to my face. So I've got this smiley face here that a friend of mine sent me. And if I click on the one key there, it brings it up in the left viewer, but it's green. We don't wanna connect that. So we're gonna press shift space bar and we're gonna type in Delta. We're gonna do a little green screening with Delta key or one selected. We're gonna grab our dropper, bring it over, drop it. Nothing's happened yet, that's fine. Shift space bar transform, because I know we're gonna have to modify it. And then we're gonna connect the transform output to the green triangle on Surface Tracker 1. And now you'll see that everything is as it should be. So yay for us. It's showing up green screen. So with transform 1 selected, we need to zoom this in a little bit. We want it to be about the size of my face. And you'll notice here, this is a good point. The tracked area is right in here, right? If I click surface tracker, you can see it cuts off right there. So we wanna make sure that whatever we have stays inside, whatever we've attached that is, stays inside of this tracked area. So I'm gonna change my angle and then my position, and I'm doing it right over here in the inspector. That's about right. Maybe change the angle a little bit more and bring it up a tad, maybe back over a little bit. And there, it's in. So now we can go back to our edit page and our render cache is rendering. If you don't know how to use the render cache, I did handle that in this other tracker video. So that's worth the watch, especially if you're not tracking surfaces, but you're trying to track points. Now that it's rendered, we've got it here. Let's go full screen and play through the final effect. And you'll see that it moves with my mouth. So the mouth on the smiley face moves. <laughs> Pretty easy, right? And it worked out really well, didn't it? 
So hopefully now you have enough knowledge to take home and tinker with your own footage. Hey, if you get this to work, leave a comment down below. And if you have any questions, also leave those down below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, boop the like button, maybe consider subscribing, doing all the YouTube crap, including watching this next video that YouTube has curated from my catalog for you to watch. I hope you're having a great day. John out.